Formula One has seen some incredible tragedies over the years, with the most famous of recent years, the awful death of Ayrton Senna, having a deep impact on the sport's safety standards. This legacy saved the life of Romain Grosjean today multiple times in the most phenomenal, terrifying and, to be frank, miraculous accident that I have ever seen unfold at an F1 racetrack. On the first lap of the 2020 Bahrain Grand Prix, midfield runner Romain Grosjean steered sharply across the track at almost 150 miles per hour to avoid cars decelerating in front of him and clipped the Alpha Tori driven by Daniil Kivet. This set Grosjean's car into the worst trajectory for any racing driver, the one straight into the nearest metal barrier. Grosjean's car was arrested at a peak deceleration of 53 g, and this was the first moment that Grosjean's life was saved, by the titanium safety cell, or tub, that the drivers sit within. Without the safety cell, introduced in 1981, the carbon fiber nose of Grosjean's car would have given little protection before his legs and torso had become the main shock absorber to resist that huge impact. Such catastrophic injuries in Formula One races in the middle of the last century resulted in many deaths through blood loss and shock. But the safety cell did its job and Grosjean did not suffer any injuries to his legs, enabling him to jump out of his car all on his own. But we are a long way from there yet. As the crash barrier began to envelop the safety cell and the deceleration ramped up, another life-saving technology fired into action. The head and neck support, or Hans, device is now almost 20 years old and has saved dozens of drivers in many different racing categories. The Hans device's Kevlar tethers anchor the driver's helmet to the headrest, preventing whiplash. In Grosjean's 53G impact his whiplash could easily have be fatal, as the hyperextension of the neck in such a rapid deceleration can result in a skull fracture and a broken neck. Around one-tenth of a second later, Grosjean's his life was saved for a third time. This time by a piece of technology that was only introduced in 2018, the titanium, halo, protective rail that runs across the front of the otherwise wide-open Formula One cockpits. In Grosjean's accident, his collision with Kivet turned his car into the barriers on a fast straight, resulting in his car hitting the barrier's nose first with a lot of speed. This caused the barriers to split, with a large metal piece sliding over the top of the nose towards Grosjean's head. The halo worked as designed and deflected this huge piece of metal up over the top of Grosjean's helmet as he and his car continued to embed itself into the barrier. Less than one second later the worst part of the crash unfolded. As the front half of Grosjean's car embedded itself in the barrier and rapidly decelerated, the back end of the car was still trying to travel along the barriers at over 100 miles per hour.